<laughs> it's all right. Don't touch it. Fancy me catching you like that. You thought I hadn't started, but all the time I had. I am surprised at you. Really, I am. Never mind. It's only my bit of fun. Now I'm going to tell you about my young lady. Can I have a little lady music, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's very nice, but it's too fairy-like. Give me some fat girl music. Yes, that's more like it. My girl's one of those fat girls. Ooh, she is fat. You know, once round her waist, twice round the gas works. Really, her mouth is so big that she doesn't get any satisfaction unless two men kiss her at once. Yes, that's just how it sounds. One of those girls who, if she ever sat on your lap, she'd break every key in your pocket. One afternoon, oh, you must hear this, talk about laugh. I've been at her house all the afternoon playing postman's knock, and I've knocked off as much as I could when she suggested going out. When we got to the front door, we heard a man singing on the oh, corner. Down all the old hometown, the evening shadows fall, 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 fall. Fancy me catching you again like that, dear, dear. And so easily, too. You jumped, thinking the record was repeating. Never mind, it's only my bit of fun. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, talking about my fat girl. We stopped a bus outside her house. And as the two of us got on, the conductor shouted, Only room for six inside! So, of course, I had to go on top. Well, after we'd gone about a mile, my girl was getting tired of being inside alone, so decided to follow me on top. And would you believe it, she was so fat that when she got halfway up the steps, she got jammed, absolutely wedge-type. Talk about laugh. There was I trying to pull her off in front and the conductor trying to push her up behind. We wanted to get off at the next stop, but she wouldn't budge. We went all the way for Tuppence. When we eventually did get off, she said she felt queer, and I wasn't surprised. She'd had an advert for somebody's fountain pen sticking in her for four miles, and a self-filling one at that. I thought she'd better sit down quiet for a while, so I took her in to hear the brass band contest. I'm now going to switch over to the Crystal Palace to get a little atmosphere. <laughs> don't touch it, don't touch it. It's only me. I catch you every time, don't I? And see you, Mrs. Thingamy Bob. You ought to know better. Never mind, we're all pals together, and one thing is certain, I can't catch you any more because this side of the record is almost finished. And I can hear you saying, I'll bet Leslie doesn't catch me anymore, so we'll forget all about it. And if you'll kindly turn me over, I'll sing you a song that we can all join in. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I just wanted to tell you that I did catch you again, didn't I? Never mind, it's only a bit of fun. Bye-bye, folks. Bye-bye.